Well, gentlemen, good morning. Glorious good first morning, morning here morning. at Woodlands. So we got Steve and Steve, and we're going to be hunting as a team and splitting up some days together some days. I think we're going to have a lot of fun. Roy, you guys will have uh, the camera with you first, and then yep. we'll, we'll pick it up afterwards. So. Well, good luck, guys, and uh, enjoy it. Well, we'll enjoy. We're looking forward to it. Uh, yes, sir. Excited to be here. So, uh, Steve, we've come up onto the plains now. Um, a lot of wildebeest, as you'll see, there's some in the background there. Uh, so you do get impala up here as well, but the wind is coming at our back, so we're going to move to the bottom part. There's some valleys at the back, and we're going to work our way back in okay. and just see what we see. Maybe we can get a zebra as well, but let's go and uh, have fun. One on the right, okay? In the front point of the shoulder. Okay, squeeze when you're ready. Okay, you hit it. Okay, he's gonna go down, that's a great shot. Yeah, that, 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 Steve, was a textbook shot, my man. Well done, bud. <laughs> hey? Thank you so much. Hey? You know what Africa's like? We were going out looking at Blessback, coming down the hill, saw some games back, and then we saw this beautiful zebra there, and you made a wonderful shot, my man. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, for a, a virtual zebra, he's um, got quite unusual thin stripes, which is quite cool. Okay. So their stripes are normally a bit thicker, but this, this stallion here has got beautiful, beautiful straps on him and you made a wonderful shot. Good shot. So Steve, this is your first African animal? First African safari hunt out here, South Africa, for the first animal. I'm pretty amazed. Exactly, and, and what do people think about when they think of Africa? Zebra. Exactly. Oh, beautiful still and well done, my man. Thank you so much, Greg. He's got extra straps. Congratulations. <laughs> You see how thin this trap is? Ah. Yeah, look how cool that is. No other like extra thin straps. But I mean, yeah. even on his body, look at uh, like almost like a Hartman strap. Mm. Beautiful cool. animal, man. Very cool zebra. Steve, this morning we were chasing a beautiful sable on top on the plains, and it outfoxed us and got into off the edge into the brush and ahead of us, and came down into kind of scattered brush like this, and we lost sight of him. So. Now, after lunch, we've come down to this like scattered brush and we did spot a sable lying on the shadows further along this ridge. The wind's strong in our face, so we're just going to walk slowly around and just try to get closer to range and perhaps we might need to wait it out for it to stand up on its own time and start feeding, but we're just going to get right into the zone there and hopefully we can come away with a good sable bull. Awesome. Let's give it a bash.
says Steve, just all right up there where we saw the sable line now. We obviously up and feeding now. I did see three as we came over. So we've seen two now. I just want to get a look at the third one. Out of these two in front of us, you only see the one that's bigger. Um, let's just wait and see what the third one is. If they are going in some thick stuff there. But we've got good position here. Yeah. They're not they're not far. That ball is 143 yards from us. Let's just wait a little bit and then when we get a good look there you can see with your eyes another one coming out. So we're just gonna stay and look and we then make a decision on which one we want. Okay. Just the right of that green upright piece of branch. see one now he's okay, facing two. right yeah okay then that's, that's the yeah, correct down, one down. and he just went down yep. <laughs> that was hard <laughs> that my friend is a proper sable sir it's magnificent yeah it's a and beautiful it's bull, but it's pretty much as good as they get look at the massive arc on this bull oh yeah it's awesome <laughs> extreme mass all the secondary growth from pure old age just classic textbook, I mean, mm -hmm. big arc, beautiful, beautiful bull. Absolutely magnificent, sir. He stood up on his own time feeding, and again, we worked ourselves in a beautiful position, and one shot, that 28 nosley ran straight down the hill. We watched him, got on him again, and he tipped over us. So, awesome animal, sir, congratulations. Awesome, thank you, I appreciate you. Absolute pleasure, Yeah, sir. you did a great job, man, climbing trees, doing everything you could to keep an eye on them. Good job, sis. Thank you. Really, this is a special sable. This is really Thank something special. Thank you. Good morning. Ready or what? You sleep well. I slept well. Excellent. I slept great. I'm ready to go. Steve, that blue wildebeest bull's got a bit of an identity crisis hanging around with the eland. I did see some cover here for us, we're going to go off this bench and work our way around and then see if we can get onto them, but it's the eland that we want to be concerned about. Um, but that blue wildebeest... Because they spook, so, then he's going to spook, right? Yeah. Okay, so remember you want to put him low on that shoulder. You go straight on the shoulder. Okay, take your time and just squeeze the shot. Okay, connected for sure. We'll, we'll just give him some time, let that bullet take effect, we'll walk back up, reconnect with our tracker and there's a nice vantage point ahead there. We'll go ahead, get on him again and then we can reset. Awesome. Good job, sir. The base of the neck still. Take your time. Squeeze. You got him. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All it hit. Yeah. It hit. You can see the vapor trail of the yep. bullet. I remember I told you from the top this morning that was a proper bull worth going after. And that is, in our definition, a proper bull. <laughs> Unbelievable mass, that's what I saw. It carries his mass right the way through ancient bulls, proper, hard, big bases, and a beautiful long sweep on him on both sides. I mean, that is tremendous. And I tell you what, what a fun hunt we had as a team this morning, you know? Yeah, it was, it was not, a, yeah, teamwork on this one. Have the whole crew together, it was awesome, man. And um, yeah, the whole thing played out textbook. Everything we thought would happen, happened, and the result, Beautiful, big blue wallabies pool. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful, eh? Good job, guys. Thank you, he's seen some, some years, huh?
worked well. We've seen a good ram there. Let's go have a look at it. Okay. If it doesn't work out, we'll just keep on moving around. Okay. But it's just worth having a, a look at. We're just going to go down like this at an angle. We have to keep low because from there I can only see his head because of that. We have to get to that bush, okay? okay. Yeah, I'll shoot him on the front shoulder. That's a great shot. You went straight down. What a stalk. Yes. From over a thousand, a thousand yards. yards. Come have a look here, Mr. Moraes. Beautiful old ram. What a specimen of an impala. And you can see he's a solid ram, big body, big neck, and beautiful. Feel, feel that. Grab, grab him, and that was so smooth. Oh, and, and look, he's hardly got a tick on him. Very seldom will you get impalas with ticks on them. That's out of all our animals that live in the bush, often the impalas are clean, they groom themselves so much they hardly ever have ticks, but... Uh, Beautiful animal. That is, Thank well you. done buddy, Thank nice you. shooting. And there's some robot walking down there too. Yeah, let's just go off here. Zebra, I can see them basically from these giraffe on the left here, straight behind them, those bigger trees. The zebra are just behind there, they're still there, they're still relaxed. Um, we just might need to shift a bit left. And the giraffe has seen us, so um, hopefully they just they walk off casually. But the so far, the zebra are still feeding, there's no change there. So, and we're within range of those zebra, just a matter of trying to get a gap to see them because they're behind the tallest trees there currently. Just put this in here in case they keep walking right up onto this bank. Okay, I'm taking you off safe. I just in the crease of that shoulder, squeeze it off there. The good news is we walk over here, there were three zebra and only two are running out. There is Holly. a contact call because they're trying to call the male. <laughs> I love the guy. Tell you what, right behind the crease on that quartering shot. <laughs> Good shot, sir. Thank Good you. job. Appreciate you. Pleasure. Steve, um, the hemspike as we see have broken up and the one bull has broken off which we think is the oldest bull of the lot. I mean they're over a thousand yards but he's definitely a bull, big body. We're going to have to go down in this valley and and, okay. and just, just have a look and see if we can pick him up again. It's very thick there but let, let's move while they're still moving a bit and we can see what happens. All right, perfect. That hemspec has come through the valley now to below the watering area. So we're going to just keep on going straight and up. I think that's we're going to have a chance. Okay. Are, you, are you on him? Okay, take him on the front shoulder. Squeeze. You hit him too high. You hit him too high. Do you see him? Yeah. Shoot again. There he's coming left. You see where he's going there? Yeah. How did you feel on the second shot? I thought you hit him. Yeah, I hit him. Come here. Get comfortable. Squeeze.
Down. Down. I saw him go down. I saw I saw him just buckle. Well done, Trigger. Well done, everyone. That's a hunt right there, buddy. Well, Steve, you always sit with your grand old Kimswak bull. Well done, buddy. Thank you, buddy. We spotted him early this morning from top of that mountain. It's called the Beacon, actually. It's one of the highest points on the property, and we saw this bull from over 2,000 yards snuck into a good shooting distance. Thank you. Thank you. It was a rough morning, but it was good. Yeah, beautiful old bull. Yes. And it was a great hunt. Great hunt. A lot of walking. A lot of walking. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Well, we sent the camera with Steve Merez. We decided that we'll try double tea in these games work and we sat two hours under the tree. The best I got was one phone scope photograph of its head sticking out in two hours. Eventually they came out and tight quartering shot hit him a bit back. He ran over here and lay down. We couldn't see it. I tell you what, this game spike jumped up. He hits it back there. I tell you what it was spectacular. We just saw the tail coming into the air. <laughs> da, 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 rolling. Broke this tip a bit, but not bad. It's still got yeah. the full length there. But just a, a heavy bull, nice decent sized body on him. And um, yeah, a fun hunt we had we're here. A lot of, lot of patience, but we're both out of breath um, <laughs> and happy to have him down. Absolutely, man. Thank <laughs> you. Good job, sir. Thank you. Good job yourself. Pleasure. Hello, Steve. Well, gentlemen, we've decided to take a day trip up straight north from Woodlands, up into some mountains. Beautiful, beautiful day. We chose a great weather day, but already we've seen a lot of game. We're busy glassing. We've seen some waterbuck cows, seen some lechere. So we're just going to keep glassing, working our way through these mountains, and hopefully we can find kudu and waterbucks, what we mainly after today. But you know, you never know what you bump into in these mountains. We might find something else fantastic that we decide to go after. So we're going to spend the full day here. It's still about 500 yards from this kudu, but it's such a calm, quiet day. You know, we want to be really quiet. They'll pick us up here. See his head. That's him. You see his head. Okay, he's gonna give us a shoulder soon. Okay, there he comes out. Okay, low on that shoulder. Let's take it below that hump, just above that brush. Great. Good job, Steve. Another tough hunt. Another awesome animal in an awesome setting. I know this morning you said we, we were pushing quite hard to get up this mountain and we're over, we're 4,000 feet here. Yeah, we can feel the difference in altitude and we were just very, very fortunate. It's spectacular weather this morning and lots of animals and just lucky to find a great old kudu bull in the mountains. Oh wow. 
wow. Look at that, sir. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, wide, that's what I was after. You know, worn down old ivory tips. A lot of secondary growth here, just a beautiful old bull. <sighs> Steve, I couldn't be happier with that, sir. Me as well. Thank My you. goodness, thank you, sir, for uh, <coughs> persevering. I tell you what, these mountains, even a young man like myself <coughs> starts feeling it. We were panting up there. And I tell you what, to take a kudu on in these mountains, it's, it's a true hunt. And to come away with a beautiful old bull like this, sir, <coughs> good job, mate. Thank you. Absolute pleasure, sir. So what a day. I'll catch my breath and I'll sound better in a few minutes. <laughs> what is it? Yeah. How are you doing? Oh, I could be doing better. You mother effer. Bro. We're going to keep it a PG-13 right now because all the words I want to say are not good. <laughs> it's okay. going to be easy rolling down now. We have just come back from the Devil's Peak. Mm. Right? Great. Sorry dogs, y'all get nothing. Steve, up, up behind us, we've got this little hill we're going to go sit up in class. That means putting a big old kudu bull has been coming down here in the evenings to the river. Um, but we must be careful when we go over, there's a thicket there where the bull's like hanging out to. Load the rifle. Load the rifle and put it on safe. And uh, we'll go up there slowly. You hit him. He's going forward. Yeah. Shoot. Oof. Yeah, I turned in here. Turn right in here. Right there he is. Yep, I see him. Right, there. There he is. <laughs> right where the bush shook like that. Yep. Look at that, my man. Yeah. Hey? Thank you so much. That's a beautiful bull, that. Let's come have a look at him. Steve, congratulations. Thank you. Come on, Steve, pull come in on, here, man. Perez. Good job, Papa. Thank you, man. Good job. Yeah, come take a seat, Steve. This, this morning, um, we came up here into the Babians Valley looking for a kudu, and, and we got one for Steve this morning. We found it, and this afternoon, Steve and Sticks are so kind to repay the, the favor, and they found this bull for us. I'm not sure you had more buck fever, Steve or me, but it was a hell of a lot of fun. A lot. <laughs> Beautiful bull, complete two turns, two turns. ivory tips. Didn't go very far. Yeah. Beautiful beard on him. Nice beard. Well done, buddy. 
Thank you so much. Well done. Greg, thank you. Steve, thanks, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Two in one day, man. <laughs> Good job. Perez and Marez each got a Perez and Marez. Man. We're making some barbacoa, over easy eggs, potatoes with bacon, and tortillas and guacamole on the side. In this guacamole, there's avocado, onion, tomato, jalapeno peppers, a little bit of lemon juice. So the two Steves have decided they'd uh, like to hand place back together and we've come to a property uh, that have got common and white place back. So Stix and I, we're going to do a team effort. We've seen uh, actually two very nice white rams for now. Uh, we're just going to do a bit of scouting and see what else we see as Stix. I'm sure there's some nice commons there too. Yeah, it's off the bat, the first two mature white rams I've seen are both monsters. himself here to the left now. You'll have a look there, you'll see he's got very thick horns. But he's like 540 yards. We're going to have to move a bit forward to try and get a prone shot. Just tell me if you see him. Take him on the front shoulder. Squeeze. What a shot. Steve? Yes? Yeah. Well done. Thank you, buddy. That was uh, that we weren't going to get any closer. It's just so open, yeah. Oh, did you find the You did it. He showed me on the shoulder. It ran, it, like, that, I felt the wind. You're close to me. Right? I know. That, that big gust that of wind gust there, you see the head. scope shaking? I yep. said it. I said, oh, there's a gust right it's there. There's the gust is short, yeah. Dude. Oh, right here. I'm telling you. This is? Yeah, <laughs> right in the. Side. Yeah. It was close. It's popping, my man. Well done, Steve. Jeez. Wow, what a beautiful ram. Oh my god. And he's actually a lot whiter than we thought, but that wow is you couldn't have wished for a better animal. When we got here in the morning he was chasing all the other rams around. This is obviously his territory and see that's see that's how he marks his territory over here. Well done, oh, Steve. Thank you very much. We, That's what I wanted. So you've got the two kind of bless back we can get in our area. Well done, bud. Thank you. Thank you, Greg. Fortunately, it's not muddy here. But it's a nice little bank that we can just now look. We're in a bowl here, and there's stuff all around us. So let's just see what's here and what we can make a move on. We're just going to sit here a little bit and just let things settle down. And you'll quickly get a sense of where what is. There's a herd of blues up there, but like this black. If we sit still and low, you probably end up walking a bit closer. But you can see a lot of tracks here, this short green grass here is where a lot of games tends to hang out. So let's see what comes here. The very far left one is also a big room. It's between those two. That very far left one, oh, got nice long points. Yes, correct. Yes. Center gut with a crosswind, you will squeeze a shot off. Got him. Perfect, absolutely perfect. He just rolled right there. What a shot, my man. That's in the engine room. 
but it's probably the toughest shot we've taken all safari. <laughs> we had to, these planes, we couldn't get closer. Um, we had to just really take that shot. Uh, they weren't going to move and then we just decided, you know what, um, we know the gun shooting, got the right wind call. I told you aim center gate and you hit it on the shoulders, you broke it front shoulders while I was hopping like that. So, um, the wind. yeah, we got him down there, um, but it's a heck of a shot, so it's thank tough. you. <laughs> Good job. Thank you, thank you. Let's thank get you. closer. Well, Steve, we saw some movements. So we put the dog down just in case because you quickly lose sight of things in these planes, but not necessary. Trigger came here, and much to Trigger's dismay, the bless fuck was already dead. But that, my friend, is a beautiful, proper blessback ram and a heck of a shot. That is, I uh, had to keep quiet and keep kind of selling you the little white lies of how far it really was. But uh, in this kind of crosswind and pulling a 680 yard shot to bless was a hell of a shot. Heck of a wind drift. I said aim center gut. And if you look center gut, he has an exit on the shoulder. Um, and that's 14 inch wind drift. So it's a solid 12, 13 mile power wind in the, at that distance. But beautiful blessback ram yeah um, and yeah to after hunting a beautiful white earlier with merez it's um complementing it with a equally as good common bless back so Thank you, sir. good job sir much appreciate it absolute pleasure steve Cheers. 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 Steve, it's a bit windy, but the wind's in our favor here. We got lucky because we were going to an area to glass for road and MK spotted them up here. And not too spooked. They didn't see us, they could see us just walking in the thick stuff away from us. I think we just walk almost parallel to them. It opens up on top of the ridge a bit more and hopefully we can intercept them there. But they're both mature bulls and one is definitely a bit longer, definitely older. You see his body's a bit more down in condition, thicker horns, blockier face, his whole skull is blockier. So let's just walk slowly up here and try to intercept them in a gap. They will fix stuff now, which is good because we can't see each other. Steve, there's a nice open gap in front of us. Um, we last saw them in the thicket. We are parallel to them with the wind. We're a crosswind here. So they were moving. Let's just sit here a little bit. We've got a lot of open spaces here. Perhaps if, if hopefully they move how they were and they come out here, we're just ahead of them. The one on the left there that's visible. The left one. You see there's like a crease there. That's yes. Perfect shot. The, back the first one. They walked out of here. We stood there watching. And they came up here. Yeah, load one in. Let's just be sure. Let's have a look here. We left it to the last afternoon, my friend, but I tell you what, that was well worth the effort and the hunting we did for this beautiful old bull. Oh my goodness. This is just the perfect, perfect bull. An ancient bull. Check at the secondary growth here. Great length on him. Big blocky skull. You know, when you look at them with the binos, you don't realize how impressive they are. Because I mean, it's got 12 inch long ears. Uh, 12 to 14 inch ears. So you look at the ear like that and against the horn and you see, okay, my goodness, this is all, these horns are about double the ears kind of thing. So beautiful, beautiful bull. And awesome. you, slam. <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, 
we really left it to the last afternoon, but what a way to end the safari together. We have your good buddy Steve Marez with us and Greg, and you know, all four of us had a fantastic week together. Absolutely. So, yep. awesome, so good job. Thank you so much. Oh, it's an absolute pleasure. I appreciate so. it. Well, gentlemen, it's been an absolute pleasure. I mean, we were chatting earlier and, and to get to hunt together all as a group of friends. And Greg and I have worked here for more than 10 years and to have two buddies come over and say, hey, we'd love to hunt together and spend as much time together. I mean, we were joined at the hip for at least maybe 90% uh, of the time. Mm -hmm. But what a great time to the banter and the trash talk flowed smoothly, nonstop, and will continue to. And I tell you what, even more exciting, you guys have really put down some dates to come back and we're going to have round two in a couple of years time. So absolute pleasure, gentlemen. And I tell you what, it's been an absolute laugh and a blast. Same here. We, we couldn't be happier. We were talking about that a little while ago, like just so blessed to, to have been here with you guys. I, I, I don't think we could have picked better, better guys with the match star, our, our energy, our, our personalities. So it just it seemed to mesh well, except Greg. But other than that, it was perfect. <laughs> I will say one thing that I noticed by you two guys, and we appreciate it as guys, even though we had a lot of fun, both of you enjoyed your hunting. When we got down to the hunting part, it was done correctly, you guys shot very well, yep. and you appreciated everything, which makes us really appreciate doing it for you. Absolutely. We appreciate so it. really guys, we, we really stoked that you want to come and visit us again. Uh, yeah. And yes, and, and, and doing the things that we all wanted, we could combine each other as friends that we wanted to and be out there was the greatest part because at least I got to see what, you know, my adrenaline rush just to see him out there hunting and harvesting an animal yeah. was the best part. You know, that yeah. my adrenaline rush was, you know, praying, making yeah. sure he gets the great shots. <laughs> yeah. It just turned out great. Same here. Yeah, that, that's, that you're almost more excited for your buddy to, to harvest something than your own shot. So. Yep. And, uh, and I think it's fitting too. Cheers to the cameraman. Grant. Grant. Outstanding awesome Grant to put up with us Crack all out. day. Yeah. <laughs> to hold the camera straight while you're laughing. I mean, it's sure all good, yeah. <laughs> good job, guys. Cheers. 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 As Sticks would say, it's been epic. <laughs> it's been epic. It's been epic. <laughs> yeah.